I love festivals, so it's, it's always something I feel like I have to do because it's the moment where uh, I can totally be myself. almost like on the verge of taking a huge break from performing. Uh, later on, as I saw that it was growing and I saw the other names and I saw who was playing, then I was I'm getting more and more excited to a point where I did something I never do, is I made a new live set from scratch. I don't know how people are gonna react as I never played that set, but for me, it's, uh, it's a moment where I'm like, okay, I'm in my playground and I, I, I'm just gonna do it. Well, Toronto has a, a huge uh, background of electronic music. Whenever we would meet people from Toronto, we always felt it was something special. They would bring a special vibe with them. I think like for Canadian cities, um, it's it's a bit of a dream situation to, to believe that our city is, is kind of healthy and sustainable. But I would say that the fact that it's not totally sustainable is actually healthy because it forces artists, it forces promoters to be creative. And in creativity is how you stay alive. And the main problem is with a lot of promoters that I've seen, they gain into the zone where they feel like they need money and then they, they forget about compromises and they go commercial. And this is where I'm not interested to go. And that's why I really stick to my roots. So I think for Toronto or Montreal to stay healthy, there's a, a reality to accept, which is things will never be sustainable, but it's okay. times of repression and with Harper cutting, it's like I think there's going to be a huge wave of creativity coming. And the bridge between Toronto and Montreal has been developing. For me, I find this is it's something that I've been waiting for a long time because we feel lonely in Montreal and Toronto I think it's the same thing and there's a lot of connection right now and it's super exciting. <laughs>